Um, I mean, that was my first game since like uh, March, my senior year of high school. So it was just good to get out there and, and play basketball without you know game constantly being stopped like in practice. Uh, it just it just felt good just just playing again and, and just being out there with my teammates finally. Mickey, did you figure that your first real contribution as a college basketball player would be taking a charge? Um, no, no, I really didn't. But uh, I've, I've taken them before. It's not like that's like my first one ever. But uh, I mean, I was just I was just in help, so I, I took it. But no, I, I was not expecting that. We we all saw like your you know how the AAU highlight yeah. tapes are. We know it's all the crazy plays and yeah. stuff they put in there. But like, when are we? How long will it take for us to see the no look passes and the behind um, back stuff? Um, I'm just getting adjusted to college basketball. I mean, that was my first couple of minutes, so you can't expect me to come out there and look like Magic Johnson. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I'm not that good. Uh, but you know, I'm I'm working every day. Um, so is my teammates. But uh, I'm gonna. I mean, I'm I'm getting into the groove. So hopefully, uh, just just keep working. I think your coaches and teammates have talked about how much they've admired your attitude throughout all this. What have the last two, three, four months been like for you waiting to find out if and when you'd ever be able to play? Um, obviously, no one wants to sit out, but to me, uh, I, I took it as a blessing. Um, you know, just it gave me time to, you know, reevaluate my not just on on the court stuff, my my attitude off the court, how I uh, how I how I talk to my teammates, how I talk to my coaches. And I think I've matured a lot um, just from the summer, even to now, just sitting out and just and just thinking about, you know, how how can I mature? I got this time off, so I'm going to make the best of it. Jaquan, um, you really looked like you were in control of the offense the whole night. Um, could you speak on how you developed a little bit more throughout the season as it's going on? Um, I think, you know, just getting into the college flow and uh, playing basketball. Uh, I think uh, last week I let, I let Kentucky's guards kind of speed me up a little bit. But uh, like these next couple, like these past couple days of practice, I've been getting extra work in, you know. Pacing, pacing myself throughout so they don't have to pressure me and make me turn the ball over, all type of that stuff. So it's just, you know, watching film, sitting down, breaking that down, talking to GP, talking to Coach Mata, seeing what they see. I mean, I'm their voice on the court, so it's just uh, little things. Jaquan, we can see how you're really growing into your game. Like, are you curious to see what Mickey's going to be like now that he's uh, able to play? Well, I mean, you, you see glimpses of him in practice every day. And, like, uh, I mean, he can bring a lot to the table. Like, um, he had a, a big time offensive rebound in the first half. Nobody will probably pay attention to it, but I mean, I noticed that and I think it led to a three pointer. So, I mean, it's just a little thing that he does, but once he gets to the flow, I mean, I expect a lot. I mean, could you have any expectation of just, you know, how long you think it might take just for you to get up to speed with the rest of these guys with the time you missed? Oh, oh one of my mentors has told me before, don't, don't try to gain all of your eligibility back in one play. So, you know, I'm, I'm taking it uh, one step at a time. I'm not trying to rush anything. I'm not trying to come out there and not be something I, uh, I'm not. I'm just trying to, you know, do what I need to do for my team right now to, to get a win because ultimately the, the win-loss column is most important. Jaquan, the, the three ball wasn't there.